back here in Rimworld with a question. What is libertarianism? What is anarcho-capitalism? Is there any difference between a libertarian and an anarcho-capitalist? I ask those questions. Really, I would like to, to hear an answer because I play this game here, Rimworld, and I think this is a really libertarian game. I think there is no state, by the way, talking about Rimworld, it has a rating of 98% positive among 2,000 users. So I really recommend you to try and play this fantastic game, Dreamworld. But is it libertarian? As you can see here, the most important thing in Dreamworld would be, well, besides the lives of your colonists <laughs> that you must protect, the most important thing is your private property. As you can see here, by built by our favorite billionaire, Elon Musk. Tesla's Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, the richest man on this planet. As you can see, there is no, no state. No state is coming after your taxes, no taxation. And that's the biggest crime against the citizens, according to libertarians, isn't it? The state would have no right to rob people with taxes. That's what makes libertarians really mad and crazy. And this, this private property here, you must defend at all costs, using, of course, even guns and the force. I joke every time I get attacked by anyone, calling them communists trying to take my private property. So I just shoot them blind. There is no talk with communists in this game. Everybody here, here is a libertarian. Jokes aside, in this game, the free market is really free. Having said that, you can buy or sell anything. You can buy slaves, people, prisoners, guns, weapons, you can buy or sell drugs and even human meat. Yes, if there is a market for cannibals, I don't think that there shouldn't be a market for human meat. So I don't think even the most fierce libertarian would agree with a market of human meat, which opens a philosophical discussion. Who would set the rules for me not to have my right, my freedom to buy human meat? This is a fantastic game. I really recommend. And I still ask the question, what is libertarianism? What is anarcho-capitalism? Well, back here at my game, everybody is still asleep. And so far I have the billionaire Tesla billionaire Elon Musk, Sarah Pelling, ex-governor of Alaska, still naked, yes. XAA12, that's the son of Elon Musk. And Talula Riley, ex-wife, beautiful British actress, according to Forbes, she has now 40 million dollars. You, you rock, girl. <laughs> you rock. That's what happens when you are smart in life, no? She married the right person. <laughs> what Elon Musk is doing. Wake up, everybody. Good morning. It's six, it's five o'clock in the morning and Elon Musk is already building the, the paste dispenser. Yeah, well, colonists hate that food, but I have no choice. The winter is coming. It's not even winter yet. And the temperature is already really 
cold outside. And remember that Sarah Palin has no clothes on, still naked. I will probably get a flag from YouTube because of, of inappropriate content. <laughs> anyway, it's just a game, guys. She's, she's just a bunch of sprites on screen. She's not a real person. Remember that. At any case, characters in, in Remord are always hungry, no? It's amazing. It seems like they have a disease or something. They do not stop eating. <laughs> As you can see here, Talula Riley and XAA12 just had a little, a little argument about ideology. Yes, sometimes. In Rimworld, if, if your character has an ideology and you, for example, kill somebody, He's going to be angry, so you need to be careful about taking care of other colonists' ideology. Ideology is a, is a disgrace anywhere, you know. It just generates so much hate, it's, and it's such bullshit. Of course, some people make money with ideology, but anyway, I have a new quest here. I have to take care of this Boma loop for 10 days. As you can see, I have 140, 154 food. I don't think that's going to be enough for me to accept that quest. Oh, geez, Jesus. I am being attacked <laughs> by another communist pig. Yes. Uh, I didn't pay attention and I forgot about it. I guess I remembered, but I really forgot about this this communist pig. So what I'm doing now is drafting everybody and I have no other choice to fight melee with Elon Musk and I'm getting Sarah Palin to hit the communist pig. So let's see. Wow. The communist pig is already dead. I hit Antraft. And Elon Musk is bleeding. Look at that. He is hurt. I chose him for him to take care of himself. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. Sometimes it's not a good idea if, if your character is not a good doctor. But in this case, whatever. Elon Musk seems to be good enough of a doctor. So... XAA12 is still making Sarah Palin's clothes, clothes so she doesn't freeze to death. And talking about it, she just has hypothermia, so I need to keep Sarah Palin inside of the house. Talking about Sarah Palin, she was complaining about the elections in Alaska. I think she didn't think it was fair or something. Americans are now having really problems with the elections, no? Most of the Republicans do not accept Joe Biden as a legit president. They think that was a fraudulent election, so whatever. <clears throat> I really don't care about what's going on. You know, Americans have a weird election system, so... and. Characters do not like to be drafted all the time. That's why I, I, I free Sarah Pelly. I hope she doesn't has. I hope she doesn't go outside. But that's exactly what she is doing right now, and I need to stop that because she has already hypothermia. So I'll pause the game here and bring her back inside and wait for that parka to be ready really interesting game i just i don't even remember the, la the last time i was hooked to a video game such as dream world i really recommend you guys as you can see it was serious now it's a minor hypothermia but at any case it's dangerous characters can actually die from hypothermia so you must be careful and well that's it for today